Hello and welcome to Test Automation Central. In this video for GeoMart Automation Series Part 4, we are going to automate three scenarios that is, click on sign in, enter mobile number, or click on or get OTP button, enter details in registration page, first name, last name, email ID, and six digit OTP number. So let's get started. Scenario number one click on sign in. First, we will locate the sign in button by finding its locator. Right click and inspect and inspect on the sign in. So we have an ID sign in text. Let's write an expat. Now let's go to ID. Let's write driver dot find element by dot expat pass expat and we'll click on the sign in button. Now let's automate scenario number two. So once we click on sign in, it will navigate to Sign in to GeoMart page. We have to enter the mobile number and then after entering, we have to click on the get OTP number. So now let's locate uh, the locator for the entering the mobile number. We have an ID login first mobile number. So just replace this. So if you look at here, we have two locators one is for JDS phone and one is for the input. So let's write input instead of star. So we have located the element. Now let's go to the ID. Let's copy this. Copy the locator. Instead of click, we will do send keys and enter the mobile number. Instead of entering a static mobile number, what we can do is we can generate a new mobile number every time. Let us write mobile number is equals to integer dot right sorry uh, new random dot next int write some five thousand or fifty thousand. Then I will add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Ten. So this is a 10 digit number and we will add it. So as this is an integer value, we have to convert into a string. So let's wrap using string dot value of. So now we can use this mobile number and just send. Is. The second step is we have to get this OTP. So now let's write some mobile number, random mobile number and inspect on get OTP. Look out for ID. What ID we have? Yeah, basic button and button. So let's uh, locate this button and ID. So we located get OTP button. Now go back to this. We have to perform just change the X path. Instead of send keys, we have to click here. Dot click. Scenario number three. Once we click on get OTP, it will navigate to welcome to GeoMart, wherein we have to enter the first name, last name, email ID and OTP. So now let's locate first name. So let's look out for ID. Yeah, we have an ID. So let's enter input. Yeah, so it is we are able to look at this. Now let's go to ID. Copy this. I element and send keys 
first name likewise we will locate the id for for last name and email id let's look out for the id for the last name let's replace the last name and an email id name input last name then test at the rate gmail dot com so now we have to enter the otp so now let's locate the otp if you look at here right each input box has separate id and for this one we have to uh, locate six different locators instead of this we can have a common locator for the entire div just click here and we will look out for the id yeah id we can see id underscore input underscore zero one two three so what we will do just copy this id and we will uh, write a common expat star char so let's write input contains a direct id comma and we'll pass the id we'll remove the zero yeah we successfully located or found, found out the common locator for entering the OTP. Now let's copy this and let's go to the ID. Let's write list of web element. Element OTP values is equals to driver dot find elements by dot x path. Let's paste the x path and let's Right for web element e OTP values e dot send keys enter one. So what we can do is instead of entering a static value, right? For example, if you have some value is equals to random like four, five, six. Okay, so we can enter the value here once you have the OTP. In the automation, right? So always there will be a static OTP for automation, wherein it can be double one, double one, double one, and the mobile number will be constant when we are automating. So let's see, think like we have an OTP of uh, four five four five four five. So now what we will do is uh, we have to enter in each of the element. So write int i is equals to zero, then write i plus plus okay so instead of this we can send string dot value of value dot char at i so what it will do is it will take this index 0 4 and 2 5 i because it will enter the otp value so we have written the code for all the three scenarios now it's time to run the code so now right click click on should open the browser should open geomart.com then should click on sign in which is the scenario number one it clicked on sign in now it sh should enter the mobile number yeah after entering it will work on the scenario number three first name last name and email id and it entered the otp so in the next video we will discuss on the validations for entering the first name last name what will happen if we don't have the first name like it will throw this error message right so we will discuss in the next video thank you for watching test automation central see you in the next video